Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see about applying negative potential to gate to source terminal. In the previous video, we saw about the maximum drain current IDSS. So what is IDSS? It is the maximum drain to source current when VGS is equal to 0. We are increasing the VDS from 0 to a point where the depletion layer closes to a point pinch of point above which even if we increase the VDS further the drain to source current will be constant. That point is called as drain to source current when VGS is equal to 0. So in this video we are going to see about giving negative potential to gate. So in previous uh, cases we did not influence a gate to close this depletion layer. Now we are influencing this gate also along with this VDS. For example, now I am applying a reverse bias potential to gate to source terminal. Both are reverse biased here. This is VGS. So what happens here? Gate, this P layer is connected to negative and this S is source is connected to positive. So this is also reverse biased. Now we have to take into consideration two important concepts. What happens to drain to source voltage? What will be the level of drain to source voltage when compared to the previous level? Level means in the case of value uh, increases or decreases and then this depletion region. Now what we are going to see is applying negative gate to source terminal. For example, we are applying minus 1 volt. Here if you see this P layer is connected to negative and S is connected to positive. This both the P layers to negative. Now it means this is this Pn is reverse bias. This Pn layer, P layer and N layer both connected is reverse bias. Now at reverse bias condition usually what happens the depletion layer increases. So this P, Pn also is associated because these both P are interconnected. Now the depletion layer increases due to reverse bias potential and the same time this is also reverse biased. So now what happens is in previous there was no influence of gate to source voltage gate to source voltage. Now it is negatively biased negative potential is applied minus 1 volt we are applying. Now in previous case we applied only VDS to the maximum level so that we have achieved the maximum drain to source current. Here the gate to source voltage is also aiding this depletion layer to close. Previously gate to source voltage did not aid this depletion layer to close. Now since we apply the negative potential this depletion layer increases because of this negative gate to source potential and also this VDS also will increase the depletion layer. Now the energy or the voltage applied to attain the pinch of voltage, the voltage applied, VDS applied to attain the pinch of voltage will be lesser now because this VGS making it to negative minus 1 volt or minus 2 volt whatever negative potential will apply this will aid the depletion layer to come closer for the amount of voltage we apply. So it will attain a pinch of point based on the VDS we apply further. I am repeating this negative potential we apply. This means reverse bias. This VGS is reverse bias uh, according to this terminal P and N. Now when I apply negative potential due to reverse bias this depletion layer increases. The depletion region always you know increases when reverse bias is applied and after increase of depletion layer if we further apply VDS what will happen is we reach the pinch of voltage. In previous case we had no VGS negative potential, VGS potential was zero and the full responsibility was taken by only VDS both to attract the electrons and close the depletion layer to attain a pinch of point. Now VGS also takes a role by some negative potential so that there will be some amount of closure in the depletion layer and further closure to attain the pinch of voltage will be taken care of by VDS. Now I told about the level of VDS in the starting of this video. The level of VDS applied 
will be comparatively less when compared to the previous case because as I told VDS took the full responsibility of both producing the drain current as well as closing the depletion layer to pinch off point. Now since the gate to source terminal is reverse bias negative potential is applied it will increase the depletion layer and further increase will be taken off by taken care of by VDS. So the pinch off potential is also achieved the pinch off voltage is also lesser when compared to the previous pinch off voltage. This is for VGS equal to minus 1 volt. Now what if we apply VGS is equal to minus 2 volt. Now it is further negative more negative potential which will increase the depletion layer further and the pinch off voltage required to achieve a constant drain current. So only this point when VGS is 0 is called as IDSS. After this, this current is called as IDS or ID. Next point is for VGS equal to minus 2 volt. The pinch off voltage required will also, also be very less only. Okay, because the negative potential is made increased. Now further for VGS minus 3 volt, the depletion layer further increases and now VDS as uh, the work of VDS is lesser to attain the pinch off voltage. So for 3 volt. So if you can see the various levels of pinch off voltage by influence of the negative gate potential. So if you want to control the flow of electrons, we are using gate source voltage. Previously gate source voltage of 0 and the entire control was with only VDS, this VDS. Now the word gate means it is gating the electrons or blocking the electrons to further pass through so that the drain current is made constant, drain to source current. So, if gate to source is applied made negative, the depletion layer increases and the effort taken by VDS will be lesser to attain the pinch off voltage because the depletion layer has already come closer by application of that negative potential. So, this is the concept and if you see this drain characteristics, this entire curve is called as drain characteristics, this entire region is called as ohmic region. Everything left to the point of locus, this everything left to the curve of locus is the ohmic region. Because as I already explained, this curve before the ohmic region is behaving ohms, is obeying ohms law, V is equal to IR. When voltage increases, current also increases. For each case, if you observe, in case of VGS is equal to 0, when voltage increases, current increases. Here for VGS minus 1, VDS increases, ID increases or IDS increases. So this entire region is called as ohmic region. So this region is called as active region where the drain to source current becomes constant or remains constant throughout. And another thing is this is the cutoff region. Cutoff region is applying a certain potential to get. So when talking about the cutoff region, I was saying that when VGS goes beyond minus 4 volt, uh, the cutoff region is reached. I told that uh, N channel JFETs are designed in a way that when gone beyond minus 4 volt, uh, the N channel JFET does not produce drain current. Because here if you see, uh, we are applying from 0 voltage, we are reaching to minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3 voltage. In all these cases for 0 voltage the effort taken by drain to source voltage was maximum because the depletion region was also taken care of by the drain to source voltage alone. When applied some negative voltage this depletion region increased for minus 1 and the effort taken by drain to source voltage reduced. When I say effort taken the reverse bias voltage applied is uh, comparatively lesser when it was when VGS was 0. When VGS was minus 1, uh, VDS reverse bias voltage applied was lesser comparatively. Now when VGS is minus 3 volt at that time also 
the effort taken was uh, far lesser when compared to zero volt when it is minus 4 volt or greater than which is minus 4.2 or minus 4.3 for gate to source voltage it is the point or voltage by which without applying the drain to source voltage itself we need not apply any drain to source voltage at minus 4 voltage the depletion region increases and the pinch off point is reached which is VGS equal to minus 4 volt is equal to VP. So at this case there will be no drain to drain to source current produced because pinch off voltage is reached by this gate to source voltage of minus 4 volt alone. We need not expect VDS to take effort to make the electrons cross through from source to drain. So if drain current produces only if there is attraction of electrons, movement of electrons from source to drain. At minus 4 voltage, since uh, this gate is already closed at minus 4 voltage, which is the pinch of voltage, there is no need of drain to source voltage to be applied. So there will be no drain current also produced. Drain current is produced only when we apply drain to source voltage. So this is the explanation for why the JFET, N channel JFET does not work at the cutoff region or in other words minus 4 voltage. For N channel JFET, for N channel JFET, if the voltage is less than minus 4 volt, it goes to cutoff region. So conventionally, when the voltage is below minus 4 volt, it is cutoff region. So another region, apart from three regions, one is ohmic region, another is active region, and third one is cutoff region. Apart from these three regions, there is one more region called as breakdown region. You know that if we increase the reverse bias of a PN junction diode, breakdown occurs. So breakdown is in the junction breaks down. Here, if we can see, increasing the reverse bias of VDS reaches a pin, makes the fed this channel to reach a pinch off voltage and above which if we increase the VDS, what happens is there will be collapsing of this region. This region collapses which is called as breakdown. Breakdown of this region, depletion region. So if breakdown occurs, until that the current was obstructed properly and it was remaining constant. Now by increasing the reverse bias voltage to a certain extent, to more extent, what happens is breakdown occurs and this junction collapses and saturation current is reached. If you can see, saturation current will be reached. So this region where reverse breakdown occurs in the N-channel JFET is called as breakdown region. So totally there are four regions. One is ohmic region where uh, when voltage increases, current increases proportionally and another is active region where IDS remains constant throughout and cutoff region where a certain amount of gate voltage below to minus 4 volt is applied. It goes to cutoff region where there is no drain current we can obtain and finally is the breakdown region where we increase the reverse bias voltage after the pinch off voltage. Up beyond the pinch off voltage, the junction collapses and there will be saturation current. Many, uh, more amount of electrons starts to flow which increases the drain current rapidly. So our area of interest should be only in the active region where the drain to source current becomes constant. So FET is a voltage control device. How it is a voltage control device? Gate source voltage is a controlling parameter by which we obtain the drain current. Here when VGS is zero, we obtain maximum drain current. When VGS becomes negative, everything changes. So the pinch off voltage changes and the current reduces and it becomes constant. So as a whole, we can see that VGS is a controlling parameter. So FET is a voltage control device that operates the current, that produces the current. Or in simple terms, that channelizes the current. Now we are going to see one more important characteristics of JFET, which is the transfer characteristics. So with the help of drain characteristics, we can obtain the curve of the transfer characteristics. We will see how.
here at each point this locus point is the drain current for individual gate source voltages so if we can intersect those points for example we take this ids and plot it here just extend the line for just extend the line to hello everyone welcome to my channel in this lecture we are going to discuss about the transfer characteristics of n channel jfet in the previous videos we saw about obtaining the drain characteristics how this drain characteristics curve has been obtained and how did we plot the locus path we discussed now with the help of this plot drain characteristics we are going to see about the transfer characteristics of n channel jfet so here all you have to do is plot a graph where vgs is at the gate to source voltage is at the x axis and drain current is at the y axis i took the common y axis here id milliamps and vgs at this negative quadrant second quadrant now all i am going to do is just intersect the point of drain current if you can see minus 4 volt minus 4 volt here if you can see 4 volt 4 if you can see 4 milliamps at this point is extended and plotted here and again 3 milliamps at vgs minus 1 volt this is vgs minus 1 volt and here vgs minus 1 volt i am extending the point vgs minus 2 vgs minus 2 we got 2 milliamps vgs minus 3 vgs minus 3 we got 3 milliamps vgs minus 3 vgs minus 3 we got 1 milliamps and when coming to cut off point now we have plotted up to vgs minus 3 and i was telling that vgs equal to minus 4 volt equal to vp pinch off voltage this is effort taken by the gate source voltage individually to attain the pinch off voltage here since there is no effort by the drain to source current there will be no production of here there is no effort taken by drain to source voltage there will be no production of drain to source current also so when vgs equal to minus 4 volt here he said the vgs to minus 4 volt here the drain to source current we obtain is zero so if we are able to plot this curve from this point either start from the top or bottom so this is the transfer characteristics of a n channel jfet where you are plotting the curve with vgs versus drain current so i the explanation is we are just extending the point drain current is common y axis and vgs here as the x axis here vds as the x axis here now all we have to do is this 4 milliamps plotting here this 3 milliamps at vgs minus 1 volt we are plotting here at vgs minus 2 volt 2 milliamps at minus 3 volt here 1 milliamps at minus 4 volt which is equal to the pinch off voltage there will be no drain current so 0 milliamps so if we extend the curve we will get the transfer characteristics of n channel jfet so this is all about the explanation of working principle of n channel jfet with drain and transfer characteristics in the next lecture i'll be deriving an equation known as shockley equation so that mathematically we will understand the influence of gate to source and pinch off voltage at some two or three different cases thank you